what's invisible saves you money, usually, and more confusing than it should be. If you guessed zip trunking, you're smart, or you read the title of this video. If you don't know what SIP is, click here to see our previous video explaining the technology. Basically, SIP is a technology used to deliver communication. When we talk about a SIP trunk, it usually implies that a carrier like AT&T is delivering phone service to you over an IP connection using the SIP protocol. This is different from legacy technologies like T1s or E1s, which delivered phone services exclusively over a dedicated circuit. These circuits were not IP based and would not work with systems that were not specifically designed to interface with the T1 or E1. Once modern phone systems started to realize it's way cheaper to share the same network that computers used, instead of having their own separate phone network, technology started to innovate in that direction. Eventually, SIP trunking was born. A SIP trunk delivers voice service over any IP circuit. That means you can get a SIP trunk directly over the internet if you wanted. Oh, we would not recommend this. Because voice traffic is really sensitive to quality issues, putting it on the internet means you're opening yourself up to problems that you just can't fix. The internet is like a small child. Sometimes it's well behaved, other times it throws tantrums and feels like there's nothing you can do about it. Because the internet is intermittent garbage, we suggest all SIP trunking services are delivered over a dedicated circuit where you can apply quality control or quality of service tagged into the trunk. This will ensure that your voice service quality stays in tip-top shape. SIP trunks are usually sold in channels, a channel being a phone call. If you need to support 50 simultaneous phone calls, you'd need 50 channels. This again is different from the T1E1 days, where you were pretty much forced to buy blocks of 23 or 30 channels depending on the technology used. SIP trunks can be bought for the specific number you need, the only requirement for capacity is bandwidth on the circuit. Another benefit of SIP trunking is the additional features you get when compared to T1s. Because it's delivered over IP, you're no longer physically tied to each location. With T1s, when that circuit went down and so did every single phone number attached to it. With SIP, if a SIP trunk goes down, you can dynamically have all numbers reroute to another location. It also allows you to easily centralize your communications. Since you don't need to have a T1 at every location, you can save money in the long run by having redundant SIP trunks in your data centers delivering service to your entire organization. So that's SIP trunking. It's pretty much the preferred method for delivering telephone service today. If you want to know how SIP works, I invite you to take my Udemy course, Introduction to SIP. Use the coupon code TA-YouTube for 50% off. Click the screen to go there now or use the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information in, in the technology space. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if you disliked it, leave a comment if your emotions are more complex than that, and I'll see you in the next video.